Hey guys, it's Pia here and today I have another custom collection to show you. As you might have guessed, it is my collection based on Greek gods and goddesses. It's a collection that I've been working on for quite some time and it's finally finished because I finished Dionysus a week ago or so. And I'm now ready to show you all of the customs in one video and I hope that you like them. So yeah, I'm just going to talk you through all the customs, what their concept is and what the Greek god or goddess uh, represents. So one more thing before I show you the customs, I just wanted to say that all of these are available in my eBay shop at one point or another during the next coming weeks. Currently there are four customs up for grabs in my eBay shop, uh, that's Aphrodite, Hermes, Poseidon and Dionysus. So if you're interested in adopting one of those, you can check out the link in the description, it will take you to my eBay shop. And the rest of the customs will be up next week, there's going to be four or five of them and then the week after that the remaining four or five. So yeah, just wanted to add that in before we look at the customs, and here they are, starting with Aphrodite. So Aphrodite is obviously one of the most popular and most famous uh, Greek goddesses that there is. Uh, she was considered to be the god of love, beauty and desire, and her symbols were roses and um, scallop shells. So that is why I decided to put roses in her hair and this scallop shell on her neck. Um, yes, as a necklace and I also decided to give her a beautiful blue dress and windswept hair because that's kind of what I associate with Aphrodite. So yeah, she was obviously made from a cat LPS and I just wanted her to be really sweet and pretty. So I hope you guys think that I achieved that. So next up we have the custom which is based on the Greek god Apollo. He is the god of music, arts, knowledge, healing, prophecy, poetry, manly beauty and archery. And I hope that you can tell that I tried to make him very pretty as he is the god of manly beauty and I tried to make him actually a lot prettier than his twin sister Artemis. So I decided to make him out of a deer because deers are actually both Apollo's and Artemis sacred animals and because they're twins I decided to make them from the same base. Uh, some of his symbols are the laurel wreath which I decided to put here on his head and also the lyre which is this instrument which you can see here at his hooves. He is also the god of the sun, which is why I incorporated all these lovely golden colors on him and which is why I painted these suns on the back of his ears and on his armor. And I decided to give him wings to make him look really angelic and he also has little sun details in his eyes. So he's definitely very very pretty, actually a lot prettier than his twin sister that you're gonna see soon and I hope you guys like him. So here between Artemis and Apollo we have Ares, who is the god of war, uh, more specifically the chaos of war and the bloodshed and violence which goes with it. Uh, that is why I decided to give him a scar on his eye to make him look like he's been in battle. That's why he has blood stains on his armor and that's why his armor is also chipped in some places as you can see here. Um, it's supposed to look worn out because he's obviously been amidst it all and um, he's been fighting so that's why I decided to give him that and yeah you're gonna see um, Athena soon who is also a goddess of war but she is more symbolic of battle strategy so she's gonna look very different from him but I tried to give them similar elements which you're gonna see with her armor as well she also has this uh, funky shape on her head and lots of armor so obviously I decided to make him from a dog LPS more specifically a bull terrier and that's because dogs are usually associated with Aries and I thought that this base would be perfect for him because it would look very sort of strong and and just powerful I guess so then we have my custom based on Artemis, who is Apollo's twin sister. She is the goddess of hunting and wilderness and the goddess of the moon, which is why I've incorporated the moon in her eyes and on her armor. And uh, as I said already previously, her sacred animal is also the deer, so that's why I decided to make her from a deer base and I also decided to give her wings because Apollo had them and because Apollo had lots of light colors and gold incorporated in him I decided to make Artemis dark and with silver colors and uh, instead of having this golden laurel wreath around her head she has this more wild looking um, sort of flower crown thing going on with leaves and dark flowers and silver flowers and uh, I just wanted to incorporate those to show the wilderness that she represents and she also has a bow in her hand because she is the goddess of hunting. Then we have my custom based on Athena who as I said previously is the goddess of battle strategy, also the goddess of intelligence and wisdom and uh, knowledge and she usually instead of wanting to actually have like violent wars she tried to prevent that by having some strategy and trying to accomplish peace instead, so that's why she looks more peaceful and 
um, more intelligent, I guess, than her counterpart Ares. She also features this really detailed thing here on her armor, which is called an Aegis. It's the skin of an animal that was worn as armor. <laughs> And she also has wings because uh, the symbol of Athena is actually an owl, but I didn't want to make her out of an owl because um, I thought she would look much cooler made from this short hair base, but I decided to give her wings to kind of show a little bit uh, the owl part in her. And I decided to give her gradient wings that kind of show uh, the natural patterns that some owls would have on their wings, I guess. <laughs> I hope that makes any sense. And obviously she has lots of armor because she is still um, the goddess of war strategy, so I thought it would be good for her to at least have a little armor to protect her. Then we have my custom based on Demeter, who is the goddess of grain, agriculture, harvest, growth and nourishment. And she is usually portrayed as a mature woman uh, who is crowned and who is holding um, shafts of wheat or a torch or something, but I didn't really incorporate that other than in her flower crown she has some sort of weed looking details, I guess. And other than that, she has tons and tons and tons of details on her dress and in her flower crown to kind of show just this elegant sort of older woman um, who is supposed to bring life and good harvest and all that. And I decided to make her out of a pig because pigs and snakes are her sacred animals. So I thought a pig would look good and I think she turned out really, really pretty. I especially love the details around her eyes. I hope that you guys can see them. And she also has little nice gradients in her eyes. I just thought that it would look pretty and I think she turned out very, very lovely. Then we have my custom based on the Greek god Dionysus, uh, who I lovingly call a little party animal because <laughs> that's what he is. He's the god of wine, parties, festivals, madness, chaos, drunkenness, drugs and ecstasy. And I tried to incorporate a little bit of that sort of crazy party, madness, psychedelic thing um, into his toga and his ivy crown um, by putting in these sort of pastel colors in all the colors of the rainbow. The same goes with his eyes, I thought that they would look very different and interesting um, from the rest of the gods if he was just a little bit more colorful and more interesting. And he also features uh, the sort of leopard prints on his face and on his tail because uh, wild cats are considered to be his sacred animals. And he obviously has a little um, cluster of grapes also to show that he is the god of wine. So that's what I had to say about him. He also looks slightly feminine because he is sometimes considered to be the patron god of cross-dressing, uh, which means men dressing up as women. So I thought I would just make him look slightly feminine, not overly feminine with long hair, but just kind of give him eyelashes and make him look really, really pretty. But it is still a god, not a goddess. So keep that in mind. So then we're on to something completely different. Here is my costume based on Hades. So he's the ruler of the underworld and the dead. And obviously I didn't want to make him look like Hades from uh, the Disney movie Hercules. I wanted him to look much more emo and sinister and sort of moody looking because that's how he's described in the mythology. He's described as very moody um, and very serious. And I also decided to incorporate these sort of skeletal patterns in his face and on his body to show that he is the god of the dead, but I didn't want them to be sort of overly obvious as skeletal features, so I didn't want him to have like a skull on his face or anything like that. Um, I just wanted it to be subtle to make him look slightly more moody, I guess. And I also thought that he should be wearing an armor because he is the god of the underworld, um, so he needs to look slightly regal. And I also decided to give him this uh, sort of, I don't know what to call that. <laughs> well, he has this thing on his back uh, which covers him and it has a feather pattern to show um, that his sacred animal is a screech owl. I just thought it would look really cool to have this super dark thing there with silver highlights showing the feather pattern and I think it looked really really cool and turned out quite lovely. So I hope that you guys like him too. So next up we have Hephaestus. He is the god of fire and metal working and crafts, which is also why I gave him this hammer because that's a symbol that's very commonly associated with him. I also thought that a helmet would look good on him and armor because you would think that he would probably make himself some really cool armor if he is a metal working god. And he also features these fire details on his ears to show that he is the god of fire. And I also thought it would be cool for him to have this um, sort of toga thing going on with these metal splatters that look very very pretty. Uh, but I was just thinking that if he's doing some metal work then there might be some sparks flying from it and they might get stuck on his clothes and make it look like this, but <laughs> it's mostly just because I thought it looked really, really pretty. So I hope that you guys like that. <laughs> 
Then we have my custom based on Hera. She is the queen of the gods. Also, she is the wife of Zeus, the king of the gods. And she's considered to be the goddess of marriage, women, childbirth, heirs, kings and empires. Which is why I decided to keep her sort of angelic and um, sort of pure looking because she's the goddess of marriage. But uh, Hera was also a very jealous woman. She didn't really appreciate the fact that Zeus was cheating on her a lot and she was very vengeful. And that's why I decided to give her red eyes to make her look a little bit evil uh, because she did do a lot of horrible things. Um, and I also decided to incorporate this red gem um, because I have a blue gem on Zeus and I thought that it would look very good together. And yeah, I hope that you like her. I think she looks very sweet, but you can tell that she She's also up to no good if she gets angry. <laughs> then we have my custom based on Hermes. He is the god of travel, communication, trade, languages and writing. And he's sometimes also considered to be the patron god of thieves. So that is why I made him look kind of sly. Um, he doesn't have the normal innocent look in his eyes that most of my customs have. And he's usually portrayed with a winged cap, which is why I decided to do the same with him. And he usually has winged sandals, but I thought sculpting sandals on a puppy would be a little strange, so I just decided to give him small wings on his paws instead to symbolize them. And I decided to give him this scarf because I thought that it would make him look sort of travelery and cute, I guess. <laughs> so that's why I decided to put it there. And I also did this little scroll for him, which has Hermes by Pia. Uh, just to symbolize that he is the god of communication and writing. So I thought, why not give him a little scroll? Then we have my custom based on Poseidon. Poseidon was considered to be the god of the sea, the rivers, uh, floods, drought and earthquakes. And uh, he is usually shown with a beard, which is why I decided to give this custom a beard as well. And the reason I decided to make this sort of mare pony looking thing, which is also called a hi hippocampus, uh, is because he's usually portrayed with these mythical creatures uh, that are a combination of a horse and a fish uh, pulling his carriage. So that's why I decided to incorporate that creature into this custom. I thought that it would look really cool and it would make him look really aquatic as well. Um, and that's why I decided to do that. I put lots of details into the fish tail as you can see and I just wanted his eyes to be fairly simple but just make you think of the ocean with their deep blue colors. And he has tons of little aquatic uh, details going on here with the seaweed and little pearls and stuff like that. So I hope that you guys like him. I definitely do. And he was actually the first custom that I made in this series. So he was super, super fun to make and he's very special to me. And then finally, last but not least, we have the king of all the Greek gods, Zeus. Uh, he is normally portrayed as a slightly older man with a beard. And he is the king of all the Greek gods and goddesses. And he is also the god of the sky, weather, thunder, lightning, law, order and justice. And that's why I wanted to incorporate this little um, lightning bolt on his armor. I decided to give him wings because he is the god of the sky. And obviously he wears a crown because he is the king of all the gods and other than that I just chose a base figure that I didn't have to sculpt a beard on that already sort of had this this beard looking thing going on. I think that this base figure is perfect for Zeus because it looks slightly older and gentlemanly compared to what Zeus actually was but I still think that it shows kind of who he was pretty well and I hope that you guys like it. He goes very well with the custom based on Hera. I'm just gonna show them together one last time. Ta-da! So here they are, the loving man and wife. <laughs> So yeah, that's all I had to say about these Greek gods and goddesses inspired customs. I hope you found this interesting. I hope that you like these and you definitely are allowed to make customs based on uh, these characters, obviously, because they do not belong to me in any way. But as always, I ask that you don't copy my customs completely because they are my original characters that were just influenced by these Greek gods and goddesses and inspired by them. But after all, the design decisions were made by me and they were designed to look sort of to look like my interpretation of the gods so just don't copy them exactly and i would actually love to see if you guys have made any customs based on the greek gods and goddesses because it would be really fun to compare them to mine and see what ideas you had in your designs so that's all i had to say for this video thank you so much for watching and see you again tomorrow bye